This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. And here we are again. This is Around Kansas. Now I'm going to let you do this intro because you know this person and I know about him, but you know. Well, Rance Howard passed away recently and Rance um, might be most well known as the father of Ron and Clint Howard. So Ron Howard, of course, very special to me because he played Opie and being a Mount Airy person myself, Mayberry, I uh, grew up with an appreciation for him. But Rance grew up in Kansas and a lot of people didn't realize that. So he was a Depression era farm boy from Kansas and he um, cared very much about those roots. He carried those values with him to Hollywood and he was recently involved in the Home on the Range docudrama that Ken Spurgeon produced and Ken developed an incredible relationship with Rance Howard and so we're sharing this clip that Ken Spurgeon from Lone Chimney Films provided for us. Really what's at the core of the story of Home on the Range is how we preserve memory and music and uh, and it's how things get passed along through time. You know we live in a very communicative time now but it wasn't always that way. First of all it's, it's, it's a classical song Home on the Range. It's a song that I have known all my life. When I was started to school in the first grade, it was the first song that the teacher taught us. She had sheet music to Home on the Range, and, and she taught us this song. And so the song has always meant a lot to me. Uh, we, didn't get a, we didn't get a radio. We were living down by Dexter, Kansas, and we didn't have a radio until I got in about the fourth grade. And, and, and suddenly we had a radio and, and we were listening. We could listen to uh, music and WIBW in Topeka, Kansas was, was my dad's favorite station because they had a guy there named Elmer Curtis who was a great news reporter. And then Elmer Curtis, I mean, then he said, you've got to listen to Roy Faulkner you know, this American cowboy who knows over a thousand songs. And so we started listening to Roy Faulkner and uh, he, he, was, he was my first idol. I mean, he, had the, he sang those wonderful Western songs and they, were, they were all had a story and they were all so touching and, and so, so moral and, and Roy, Roy could deliver them so well. And Rance feels the same way I do. Uh, we love being part of, of the past and the American past. Right or wrong, we love it. And this is certainly, a, a, I cry when I hear the song. I mean, it, it sends chills up and down me. And, and it sounds corny, but I do. And I remember Ben Johnson would cry too. And if he cried, I can cry. Yeah. But uh, it's the national anthem of the West. And you know what I think about our Western history. It's just great working with a historian, director, writer like you. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. And to be able to work with Rance, I mean, we've known each other a long time. And to be in the scene and play friends yeah, is even yeah. better. <laughs> well, that, that was uh, icing on the cake. Yes. And, uh, I loved every minute of it. The fact now that so many people have been involved with it. And this documentary, for example, the people who are excited about it, the cowboy artists and all of that, is actually overwhelming. Two years ago, I was interviewed by a German public radio. And he asked me, why do you think Home on the Range, the song, is so important? Well, we know about the cowboy uh, interest in the, our American history around the world. And I just said to him at that time, I challenge you to close your eyes and sing Home on the Range, and I challenge you not to think about your home, whether it was in the city, whatever. And I think that has appealed. I think what Lone Chimney's doing is really important. Uh, making really, inter I think docudrama is a great genre because it uh, puts a face and in in some action with history and makes it come alive. And uh, they do it better than anybody I've seen. Music and stories came through the trail, they came through family to family and generations. And so Home on the Range, like 
thousands of other songs could have been lost to time, uh, but for a certain special set of circumstances that happened in the 1930s. And so this film is different in the sense that while it's about the song and about the cabin, it's also about just how we preserve things like that or how they're found. Reading the script, the background of, uh, you know, how it originated, and, and that, that is so fascinating that uh, I, and, and then, okay, I had an opportunity to be in the movie of how this song originated, and uh, it, it was, it, 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 the, whole, the whole project is just endearing, and it's Americana, and it's, it's classic. This is a classic film. It, it's, it, is, it is so well written, and, and then you've done such a great job with, with the production. This looks like a huge feature, and I, I'm just so proud to be part of it. Buffalo Bill Cody earned his legendary title in Oakley. Bring the family and come celebrate Oakley's pioneering history and unique geography at two sites, the Buffalo Bill Cultural Center and the Fick Fossil Museum. Cody's statue marks his achievements and welcomes visitors to the Cultural Center. The Fick Fossil Museum houses world-class fossils and artifacts. You'll find Oakley at the hub of U.S. Highways 83 and 40 and I-70. Stop for the legend. Stay for the day. Discover Oakley.